And we are back. RawStatus.com, Raw Status TV, YouTube, The Raw Status IG, The Raw Status Twitter. Find us, follow us, friend us, like us, subscribe, comment, and share. Then y'all with a quick video of my thoughts right now on the Brooklyn Nets. And I want to get you all's opinion. Are the Brooklyn Nets soft? You know, with this injury with James Harden, with James Harden, also with Kevin Durant down, you have to ask yourself, will this Brooklyn team hold up in the playoffs? Are they going to hold up down the stretch? Now, I'm not one like these... LeBron hating cowards out here that use injuries to be the equivalent to lack of skill or being or having a bad season. In particular, I don't like using guys injuries as a point of criticism unless it's just prone to the fact where they look like they're not taking care of themselves and that's why they're getting injured. But, you know, just even the pain just to go through a busted up knee or a snapped Achilles. I mean, you know, you don't want to be disrespectful when athletes, when guys get these types of injuries. But again, Brooklyn, Kevin Durant, is he even in the league anymore? I mean, I hated the fact, even though I was vehemently against the Golden State Warriors and what they represented with Kevin Durant, I did not want him to go back into that game against Toronto when he tore his Achilles. I was like, you know, don't don't be don't be like Robert Griffin III and injure yourself for a bunch of people that want to treat you like this is Candyland in the movie Django. Kyrie Irving has had a myriad of injuries. You see where I'm going with this. Can you trust these guys to hold up? For those of you out there that were Cavaliers fans or that were Boston Celtics fans or if you were just rooting for one of those teams to win... You know how disappointed you were back in uh, 2016 when Kyrie Irving went down during the NBA Finals. But when I say soft, I don't just mean as in being injury prone. Let's talk about the tail of the tape, the way in, the eye test. You know how when you watch one of those mixed martial arts fights, Sometimes just walking to the ring, you can tell who's going to win. You're like, this dude is just in way better shape. He he ain't got nothing for this guy. He's going to get a beat down. So these questions. And again, that corporate agenda that we speak of a lot. That I've certainly covered a lot. Over on Blue Boat Sports, he has some great videos about this corporate agenda not to put words in anybody's mouth but these are my thoughts but again you go back to when LeBron James injured his groin I think 2018 they act as if when they didn't make the playoffs like that was the equivalent to a bad season are these tough questions and this 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 doubtful cloud being cast or being asked about Brooklyn. And I say no if you watch the corporate media, which I try not to. But again, the eye test. You can take Marc Gasol off of this poster and add in Drummond. And also logic, statistics, history of performance as you would look at a stock. James Harden, if you haven't watched videotape of the Rockets versus the Lakers last year, please watch it. And why nobody ever discusses the fact that LeBron James completely and totally ripped the heart out of James Harden's chest. Like that scene in Faces of Death when they show the guy get sacrificed and they ripped out his heart. The defense that James played on James Harden, LeBron played on Harden. People don't want to talk about that. Also, the fact that there's already been a team with Harden and Kevin Durant on it, and they lost to the Miami Heat. 
oh, don't forget Serge Ibaka and, and Russell Westbrook were also on that team. So when I look at this at this picture, who on Brooklyn is gonna d is gonna d up is gonna dig in? Kevin Durant is seven feet, but he's not a top notch defender like that. He can get you on the help blocks. He's seven feet, so he can get the blocks. He really didn't become known as an adequate defender until he went to Golden State. And he had time to roam around because he had five other All-Stars. Is Joe Harris going to guard LeBron James? Because guess what? I think KCP can D up Joe Harris. I think DeAndre Jordan has absolutely nothing for Anthony Davis. I think Andre Drummond can block any one of these guys' shots coming to the rim, including Kevin Durant. There is absolutely nobody from 1 through 15 on Brooklyn that can check LeBron James. And in, in the defensive department, I'll take Schroeder over Kyrie. So here you have the Brooklyn Nets, a finesse team that wants to light you up. They want to hit threes on you. But I said it last year, and I'm going to say it again. Well, what? Let me rephrase that. I misspoke. I'm, I said it last year. The Lakers were the tallest, if not one of, I believe they were the tallest team in the league, either them or Toronto. And that's why they won. This whole small ball craze, which I'm going to do a video on that too, on the BS of small ball. It's not traditional basketball is what's going to win out. Can you think about a lineup of death in the last two minutes of a game with LeBron, Davis, Drummond, Markeith Morris, and Kyle Kuzma versus these guys over here? Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant. James Harden cannot guard LeBron James, and he cannot score on LeBron James. He's proved it. He's proven that. Now, I know I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, okay? It's not the NBA Finals. We don't know who's going to be in the Finals yet. But again, I believe that Brooklyn is going to have trouble playing inside. I believe they are a finesse team. I believe that the Lakers can lock it down and get grimy and gritty on defense. They have a defensive-minded coaching staff, which Brooklyn does not. Brooklyn has a bunch of people that want to shoot the three. How did that work out for Phoenix, Steve Nash? How did that work out for Houston, Mike D'Antoni? And how's it going to work out for Brooklyn? Well, we don't know yet, but we're going to find out. Leave your comments in the box. This is Raw Status.